Let us stand for our opening hymn. Good morning, Father. Father John. Those who are here and those who are still remaining at home, I must say, it is so good to see your faces. I have missed all of you so much. So I have celebrated Mass for three months, looking out there, pretending, trying to see all your faces, and looking beyond the walls of this church to see you in your homes as you were participating from home. So let us begin today by giving glory to the Holy Trinity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each of you. And with your spirit. We pause now to ask God's mercy upon us and upon the whole world. Lord Jesus, you were sent by the Father to bring good news to the poor. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to save us from sin. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you were sent to proclaim the grace and mercy of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory, Glory to God in the highest, highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take, take away the sins, sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us bow our heads to pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along two, the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed 
a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our weakness and sins and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. I will praise your name, my King and my God. I will praise your name, my King and my God. I will praise your name, my King. from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways, encourage one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. 
For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, you can tell that Paul was not in a time during pandemic since he tells everybody to greet each other with a holy kiss. And boy, I'm going to miss hugging everybody after Mass is over. But we continue to celebrate the embrace of God as we also share together today the mystery of a human being created by a mysterious triune God. How complex and mind-boggling is our physical construction? Chemically, the body is unequaled for complexity. Each one of its 30 trillion cells is a mini chemical factory that performs about 10,000 chemical functions. With its 206 muscle, bones, 639 muscles, 4 million pairs of pain sensors, in the skin, 750 million air sacs in the lungs, 16 million nerve cells, and 30 trillion cells in total. The human body is remarkably designed for life. And the brain. The human brain and nervous system is the most complex arrangement of matter anywhere in the universe. One scientist estimated that our brain on an average processes 10,000 thoughts and concepts each day. Three billion DNA pairs in a fertilized egg control all human activities. 30,000 genes making 90,000 proteins in the body. Bill Bryson, in his book entitled A Short History of Nearly Everything, says it is a miracle that we even exist. Trillions of atoms come together for approximately 650,000 hours, the calculated median age of humanity, 74 years, and then begin to silently disassemble and go off to other things. There never was something like us before. And there never will be something like us again. But for 650,000 hours, the miracle or mystery that is uniquely us exists. One could spend years just dealing with the tremendous, marvelous intricacies and majesty of God's creation. We are, as the psalmist states, fearfully and wonderfully made. No wonder we cannot understand the mystery of the triune God. For God is much more complex and mysterious than we who he created. And yet we do try. We do try to explain the nature, the essence of God. Volumes have been written in theology about the Trinity alone. But the best explanations have always been poetic. Metaphors that give us a glimpse reflected in God's creation all around us. Like St. Patrick, of course, who was a missionary to Ireland 
and one confronted with the conundrum of the Trinity showed how a clover has three leaves but is one. Or like St. Cyril, who was the missionary to the Slavic peoples, he used the Son to explain the mystery of the Holy Trinity. He stated that God the Father is the blazing Son. God the Son is the light that emanates from the Son, and God the Holy Spirit is its heat. Three different persons, but only one God. Three different attributes of the Son, but only one Son. So there are three different persons in the Trinity, but one God, indivisible. But my favorite is St. John Vianney, who I have quoted before in the past on Holy Trinity Sundays. He used the things of the altar, the candlelight, a roses that were placed before the altar that day, and the water in the cruets, in the holy water fonts. And he said this, the flame of the candle has color, it has warmth and shape. But these are expressions of the one same flame. Similarly, the rose has color, fragrance, and shape. But these are expressions of one reality, namely, a rose. And my favorite, which I've always said, water, steam, and ice are all manifestations of the one same reality, H. In the same way, one God revealed himself to us as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now, the problem is, is that we, in all those theology tomes and volumes, we try to explain the internal nature of God in some kind of an esoteric way. But when in reality, the way God reveals himself as a triune God is in his relationship with us. First of all, he shows himself to us as he is the God of all creation, infinitely beyond us, eternal. He is in all things and above all things and beyond all things beyond our ability to conceive or to define. But he reveals himself to us, even though he is infinite and beyond us, as one who is our Father, who loves us, who cares for us each, individually. This is how Jesus taught us about God the Father. And then, as we meet Jesus, we meet the God who is not only above us, but the God who is beside us, who walks our walk, who talks our talk, the God who shares our joys and our ecstasies, our sorrows and our tragedies, who becomes human in every way like us and journeys life with us, not only then, but now. He is the God beside us at all times. However, then we experience God as he is given to us within our very selves, the God who inspires us to leap beyond human frailty, behind human limits, to accomplish wonderful, great things, to do not only that which comes natural to us, but that which God supernaturally calls us to do. And in this God, we discover the God within us. The God above us, the God beside us, the God within us, the God who is everywhere at all times and is all things to us in every way, is with us today. In every step of our life, he manifests himself as the one who is beyond all, beyond history, leading and guiding all of creation. 
that he is with us, beside us, in the midst of our trials and tribulations, celebrating with us, crying with us, that he is within us. So during this time of pandemic, more than anything else, we worship and we celebrate and we thank the triune God who gives us all the gifts we need to go beyond ourselves, to be supported, to be overshadowed, to be made one and whole. So today, we give glory and thanks to God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us stand together to profess our faith in our triune God. And since I have the words and you don't, I'll keep us all on track. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we celebrate the mystery of the Holy Trinity, let us bring our prayers before the Lord. John, they're not here. Last page. For the church, drawn from all nations and languages, may our time, may our trial in God, guide and sustain us as we proclaim the good news of the kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world peace, may the Holy Spirit inspire government leaders to negotiate conflicts in good faith and abide by their agreements. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those enduring trials and challenges in life, especially during this pandemic, may they be uplifted by the loving presence of God and the support and compassion of this community of faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all deacons, especially the deacons from my class, living and deceased, who are celebrating the 40th, 40th anniversary of our ordination to the permanent diaconate, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here in this church and all who worship with, with us from their homes, may the Holy Spirit breathe fullness and renewal into their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all military personnel, especially those mentioned in our bulletin, protect them and all emergency and medical personnel as they faithfully serve others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those <coughs> who suffer as a result of COVID-19 and other ailments, may God's peace comfort them. We especially remember the intentions in our parish intercessory prayer book and those called into our prayer chains. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved dead, may they enjoy eternal life in paradise, especially Michael Pierce, and Deacon Ed Lynch, who died recently, and for Kate and Bob Noden being remembered at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions now that each one of us hold in the silence of our hearts. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we praise you for revealing to us the mystery of your inner life. As you hear our prayers, may we grow in faithfulness to you at all times. We ask this in the power of the Holy Spirit, through your Son, Christ Jesus the Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the, May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands, hands for, for the praise, praise and, and glory of his name, name for our, our good, good and the good, good of all this holy, holy church. church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your with spirit. Your lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. And so we join angels and saints in proclaiming your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially for Bob, for Kate and Bob, who are remembered at this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us stand together, and with one heart and one voice we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that in your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, God, you take take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am am not worthy worthy that you should should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who are joining us for Mass from home, let us pray an act of spiritual 
communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us stand to pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Please be seated just for a moment. As you know, we will be receiving Holy Communion after the final blessing. It is intended so that once everyone receives, they can individually leave the church so that we don't have a, a, a jam up in the center aisle or at the doorways. Uh, it doesn't look like we'd have that right now, but we are preparing not only for this week, but for the weeks to come. So you will be the ones who know what you're doing so that other people who come in the weeks to come will know what is happening. Those of you in the front pews, for the front three pews or so, you'll see there's little bottles of sanitizer there so that you can sanitize your hands instead of from the one in the aisle. That way your hands won't still be wet when you receive communion. Everyone else will receive, will wipe their hands from the sanitizer in the aisle. Uh, just a couple other announcements. Two of our youth have received the St. Timothy Award from the diocese, which is for manifesting their lives as good Christian young men and also as those who have given service to the church and community. Billy McCormick and Andres Martinez Meya are the ones who received it. You'll be receiving in the, our, our uh, announcements online a biography about what each of them has done. Also, I want to recognize everybody's birthdays and anniversaries that we missed during these three months, so please email Donna at office at hrparish.com and let her know if you had your birthday or anniversary, and then next week at Mass, we will sing to everybody all together at one time. Okay, let us stand together. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks, Thanks be, to God. be to God. Alle, alle, alleluia. Alle, alle, alleluia. Alle, alle, alleluia. Ushers, Father, you should be in your places by oh, each of these. Father, speaker of the word, make us, Father, break us, Father, oh, mold Christ. us in your ways. Oh, make us, Father, break us, Father, mold us in your ways. Oh, oh Ale, Ale, Alleluia, Ale, Ale, Alleluia. Jesus, Jesus is the way, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is the truth, oh Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is the light, Jesus is the way, he is the truth, he is the life, oh Jesus is the way, he is the truth, he is the life, oh hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 